Hi, I'm Anna Caravan, and I'm presenting the Nudge Tech, a card-based design support tool for the design of technology-mediating nudges. Ten years ago, Taylor and Sustain introduced the notion of nudging to define any aspect of the choice architecture that alters people's behavior in a predictable way, without forbidding any option or significantly changing their economic incentive. Leveraging this concept, researchers have designed systems that introduce subtle change in the way choices and information are presented to guide the desired behaviors. This notion has been applied in multiple contexts, such as health or privacy. However, while a wealth of technology-mediating nudging has been developed, we still have a limited understanding of how to design effective nudges. Research in the field of behavioral economics has provided over 100 of cognitive biases that can be leveraged in the design and the nudging interventions. Translating this knowledge to a concrete nudging interventions becomes a challenge. Researchers have proposed a number of frameworks of nudging, but recent research has found that designers perceive theory as lengthy, dense and complex, which limits their applicability during the design process. To make nudge theory accessible during the design process, we designed the nudge tech, a card-based design tool that supports the design of nudging interventions. The deck is granted on the 23 ways to nudge, a review of technology-mediating nudging in ACI. The framework was derived out of a systematic review of the use of nudging in ACI. We analyzed 71 papers, which allow us to identify 23 mechanisms of nudging and illustrate how these mechanisms leverage or mitigate 15 cognitive biases and heuristics. The current version of the nudge tech consists of 23 nudging mechanisms, which are clustered in six categories and link it to three triggers, making a total of 32 double side cards. Category cards represent six nudge categories and are color code to simplify the recognition. Category cards present the what, for instance, facilitate aim at diminishing individuals' physical or mental effort to pursue a behavior. The how is presented in mechanisms cards. Each mechanisms card describes the 23 nudge mechanisms proposed by the framework. The front of the card presents the name, description, example. The back side lists design considerations, hints, and suggestions that can trigger discussion within the design team. We also present the trigger. The trigger is related to trigger cards. Leveraging Fox behavioral model, trigger cards identify three types of triggers facilitators, spark, and signal and identify which type of nudges might be used in different situations. Facilitators, which aim at increasing individuals' ability. Sparks, which aim at increasing individual motivation. And Signal, which act as a reminder. To access the efficacy of the nudge tech, supporting the design of nudging interventions, we conducted two case studies, one in the context of physical activity and one in the context of misinformation mitigation. Our studies aim at addressing the following research questions. How does the nudge tech influence the design activity? How does the deck influence participants' experience of the design activity? How does the nudge tech influence the quality of ideas? To address these questions, we recruited 29 participants, all with ACI background. Most participants reported having prior experience to behavior change theories. We implemented a between-subject design where half of the participants were assigned to the control condition without the cards, while the other half was assigned to the experimental condition. Participants were introduced to the definition of nudging, along with three examples of technology-mediating nudges. Participants were provided with a design brief, asked to sketch out their idea, and instructed to include a description on their sketches. In the experimental condition, participants were asked to explore the cards until finding a card or a combination that they might want to use. Design tasks had a duration between 40 to 60 minutes. To answer our research questions, we triangulated data from questionnaires. 
We measure participant self-efficacy beliefs before and after each design session in both conditions and in both cases, physical activity and misinformation. We employ the Creativity Support Index after the design session to measure participant experience creativity. In the experimental condition, at the end of the design session, participants rank the usefulness and ease of use of the tool through an adapted version of the technology acceptance model. The first two authors rated the documented design solutions in terms of how theoretical grounded they were, how well they fit to the context of use, and how creative they were. We took into account observations during the design activity and a semi-structured interview conducted at the end of the study. How does the notch take influence design activity? We observed that through the trigger cards, the notch tech assisted design teams in defining the problem and laying out directions for the design. Trigger cards were also used to find relevant nudging mechanisms. In language prior work, we observed that the cards serve as a source of reference to create and inform ideas, while also support divergence, which minimizes design fixation. The cards also provide a common vocabulary which facilitated communication and collaboration between members. We observed that the three levels of the cards, trigger, categories and mechanisms help participants breaking down the design activity in smaller tasks, providing a line of work. Lastly, we observed that the design considerations located in the back side of the cards were used to evaluate and refine the ideas produced. How does the notch tech influence participant experience of the design activity? We expected that facilitating knowledge acquisition through the notch tech will boost participants' self-efficacy beliefs. However, we found that participants' self-report self-efficacy increased after the design sessions across both conditions, control and experimental, and cases, physical activity and misinformation. We hypothesize that participants in the experimental condition might have feel overwhelmed to the amount of information presented and the short duration of the task, which affected their perceived self-efficacy. We found no significant difference between the two conditions or cases in terms of persistence perceived creativity. A closer look at the Creativity Support Index revealed that participants felt more expressive and their solutions were worth the effort only when designing interventions to mitigate misinformation and not physical activity. Participants rate the notch tech as useful and easy to use. We also observe lower rankings in relation of learning, using and becoming skillful. Some participants reported feeling overwhelmed with the amount of card presented. This feeling dissipated as participants explore the cards. How does the notch tech influence participant experience of the design activity? As expected, ideas produced in the experimental condition were ranked as more theoretical grounded than in the control condition. For instance, we observed that when designing for physical activity in the control condition, participants will take advantage of their experience using activity trackers. They will employ features such as goal setting or social comparison, but did not elaborate on these techniques. For instance, reporting on how they will motivate users setting a concrete and attainable goal. In the experimental condition, the ideas instead combine different mechanisms and multiple detailed steps describing actions that would motivate desired behaviors. In the experimental condition, participants were better able to design solutions that fit the context of use. We observed that by combining different mechanisms, participants were able to design solutions that were more suitable for the context under concern. The notch tech led also to more creative ideas. We noticed that the notch tech enabled participants to quickly start the ideation process. Participants often selected a card and quickly applied the knowledge to produce an idea, while in the control condition, participants took more time to warm up. Thank you for your time. You can find more information and the current version of the cards at our website.